Hey everybody, Doc MTG here, and it's time for that dual deck. I almost said Masters. Masters 25 is still stuck in my head. Oh, it's so bad. I mean, it's okay. It's probably going to rise up in value over time because nobody's buying the boxes. Everybody's staying away like the plague. But today is Heroes vs. Monsters dual deck. Got it for 20 bucks. Not too bad. As you can see, we have a Sun Titan with a different art and foil and a Pelucanos World Eater. I took a quick peek at the deck list and the value of all these cards together comes out to about like 21 bucks. So it's not worth it unless you like just having dual decks put together to play against one another. That'd be the one reason to do something like that. And there's the, uh, yeah, there's the green deck or I'm not even sure what colors these decks are. Okay, so we have a Gruel deck. And a Boros deck. Boros is for the Sun Titan. These boxes I always liked because they're just super cool to keep decks together or lands or whatever you need. Get all this packaging out of the way. Got our little guides and our deck lists. So like I was saying, I took a peek at the deck lists for these guys and there's nothing really all that crazy in them. The only good thing would be like not the Pelucanos World Eater, which is a fabulous looking foil, I got to say. Maybe that'll end up in a green EDH that like combined. But and the Sun Time, which is freaking awesome. I'm liking this art. This is gonna be for what is it? Uh Zapalta. EDH. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Super shiny. But yeah, the Sun Time's like five bucks. Maybe less. So unless you just have getting these for fun, I don't think they're worth getting for value wise. So let's see what these decks have. Orcish Lumberjack, which is actually pretty good in Omnath EDH because of the Sacrifice of Forest ability and being able to ramp. Deadly Recruits, two of those. Got the Predator, got a Satyr. This is the Pelucanos deck, just so you know. Got the Druid, Blood Org. In case some of you guys don't notice that set symbol ever, those are the set symbols that are pretty much only for like dual decks, so every dual deck has its own weird looking set symbol. In case you ever come across one of these in trade, you're going to be like, oh, what the heck is that? So now you know. That's the set symbol for Heroes vs. Monsters. We got a Troacetic. Crown Solitonk. Gorehorn Minotaurs. We got two of these. Yep. Savage. Another rare. Deuce of Calamity. Super sweet. What's this do? Let's see. For five hybrid, you get a 6-6 six, six spirit avatar with trample. When it deals six or more damage to an opponent, destroy target land that player controls. That's pretty good. Maybe that could see itself into like a casual EDH deck. Got the mana core, which is garbage. Got a Helion. Got a Firebird. Wow, it's a good amount of rares in this. Got a Valley Rennet. Two of these guys. Horse and the Tusker. Got the Skybreaker. Man, these cards are so shiny. And yeah, that's my stomach if you guys heard it. I'm kind of hungry. Got two Prey Ponds. Pyroclasm is pretty good. Regrowth, very nice. Terrifying Presence, that is terrifying looking spider. Destructive Reveille. Dragon Blood. Pretty nice. Put a counter on a creature. Bolt charge. This has, yep, proliferate. Beast Within, which is another, I guess, value card. But definitely a really good card in EDH. Fires we have my another good card in EDH. Cause and do refuge. And this is battlefield tap. Do gain alive. Taps for green and red. Got two of these. Land of War Reborn. A Grassland. Got the Rage Pits. Got our mountains and our forest. Oh, and I actually like the tokens from like dual decks and stuff because they actually have the magic back. This must be the token for our beast within. That is one gnarly looking beast. Get all these cards to the side and then we'll open up the Boros deck for Sun Titan. So far, just based off the first deck, seems pretty aggressive. Has like a balance made. Hopefully this is well balanced to go up against it. Vigilant. Figure of Destiny. 
Pegasus, Fencing Ace, Thraven Valiant, Sun Sniper, oh, Stun Sniper, two. Got the True Fire Paladin, or Mancer. Nice to bring back those enchantments from your graveyard. Got the free win. We got two of those. We got Annex and Clemenida. How the hell do you say this guy's name? We got the Boros guys. Well, guy and lady. We got Armory Guard. The doubles of those. Dust Cloak Sentinel. Oh, yeah. Dawn Strike a Paladin. Pretty good card. It looks here comes our rares again. We got Nobles of War. The Pit Fighter. Condemn. Pretty good card. To have an EDH, two copies is nice. Daily Regiment, pay no heed. Righteousness, stand firm. Magma Jet, also another good card. When it's either in standard or not. Ordeal of Perforos, Bonds of Fate, Moment of Heroism. I like this card. I'm, not, I'm still not sure what to think about it. Do you guys see this in Popper? I think I might have seen it in Popper before, but I'm not sure if it's still part of Popper. Undying Rage, Battle Mastery, Griffin, Smite the Monstrous with a different art. We got the Recovery. Here's a Board Wipe. Winds of Rith for a three and double white. Destroy all creatures that can't, oh, that aren't enchanted. So this helps save some of your enchantments or auras and creatures with auras on them. And they can't be regenerated. Pretty good. Parkinesis. Boros Guildgates. Of course, we get two of those. New Belania. New Benalia. Right? Benalia? Benalia. Benalia? I think it's Benalia. Nice little Scryland. Comes in tapped. Taps for white. Who doesn't like Scryland? Especially that new Carlos one that's coming out that doesn't come in tapped. Taps for Carlos and Scry's you won. Got to our Mountains. Because both of these decks have to have mountains and planes. Ooh, that's cool looking. Planes. Not not too bad. The decks are oh, Griffin Token. Nice. The decks do seem very well balanced. So if you want to pick up this product, in my opinion, just to keep the decks together and pit them up against each other, then definitely you're going to get something that will be worthwhile and fun for you. Really, really enjoy these little boxes. Other than that, I mean, if you're picking this up for value, it's probably not not the best or wisest thing to do is to pick these up for value because the value's not there. There's, like, no real chase cards in here, so I don't understand why you would try to get this for value. I got it pretty much for the Sun Titan, and I haven't opened this up before. And I want to share it with you guys so you guys can see and be aware of what's in the product. Sun Titan's definitely gonna fit nice in any of my EDH decks I have white. Can only have one other copy of Sun Titan, and now I have two. So as guys, don't forget to be subscribed. And this is Doc MTG saying peace.